The People's Budget campaign has launched a series of events across the country. Our workshops are designed to help you and your local community to understand the benefits and challenges of participatory budgeting. Our three favourite ones were about um, PB, oh, getting communities to talk to each other. So getting people who might not go out on the street and say hi to actually build those links and foster those relationships with people, um, as well as uh, being involved with uh, yeah, being involved with a lot of different types of people. So allowing communities that might feel a little bit segregated or isolated to go out and see the community in action. Our experts will explain how local people can really be involved in deciding how public money can be spent in a much fairer way as it is in over a thousand cities across the world. It's £5,000 approximately per school place. So that means if you've got three kids in school you're actually getting £15,000 of spend by the state on you, which is quite good. How much to keep a young person in protective custody? Or care. <coughs> Anybody got any idea? So not necessarily prison, but in a care home. Eighty is quite a common. Sixty to eighty thousand pounds. So that means we'll spend in one year keeping somebody in care or in prison, which is a bit cheaper, but not much. There's twice that we would have spent on all of their education for ten years. So how much does it then cost to employ a youth worker? to stop that young person potentially going into prison and then potentially being expensive on society in the future. Probably a lot less. So it shows then we can say, well, why are we not spending money on youth workers and spending money on prisons and trying to have that conversation? When more people are involved in how public money is spent, better decisions are made. That's what participatory budgeting is all about and the workshops will help you promote a stronger public participation with our role play sessions. Okay, so as you're aware, over the summer we had riots in the city. Um, a lot of young people were involved. Part of that was to do with their disengagement with society and the feeling that they had no control over their own lives. So we feel that if we had 1% of the budget, we can encourage young people to take some decisions about where the money's going in their lives, that the decisions are being made by them, for them, about them, rather than being made just by people in the council. We'll sort out the venue and catering costs and the publicity. All we need is your group to join this campaign for a much bigger say over how our money is spent. Um, so if you think your area could host our half day so, workshop uh, for the People's Budget today? Campaign, please contact us and we'll be happy to visit you.